All right, students, buckle in. Here's a big one here. The unicellular crayfish. I'm really glad I could say that. I'm not sure my lisp was going to get me there. Okay. Rectangle A is proportional to rectangle B by a scale factor of 1.7. Oh, nice. So they already give you, and by they I mean me, it already gives you the scale factor of 1.7. Nice. So going this way is times 1.7. Going backwards is divide by 1.7. Nice. Sweet. Thanks for the scale factor, bro. It says if B1 is 14.2 and H2 is 8.84, find H1 and B2. Oh, okay, sweet. So if B1 is 14.2, find B2. Oh, scale factor 1.7, that's easy. 14.2 times 1.7 is 24.14. I'm going to use all the numbers, 24.14, okay? So, 24.14, where are you at? There you are, 24.14. I don't have any instructions that say round, but that's not that bad of a decimal. Include it all. Include it all. Okay. What we got? H2 is 8.84. See, there we go. That has two decimals. Look at that. That's okay. That's got two decimals. Okay, let's work backwards. Well, if we went times 1.7, we got to reverse that. So 8.84 divided by 1.7 is 5.2. You're 5.2. All right. 5.2, H1, got you. Oh, look at this. How much longer is B's perimeter compared to A's? Oh, man. We gotta find perimeter. So how much longer? It sounds like subtraction. So we gotta find the perimeter of B and we gotta subtract the perimeter of A. So let's go ahead and find the perimeters here really quick. All right, luckily we have everything we need. How do you find the perimeter of a rectangle? Well, it's two lengths times two widths or two heights times two, whatever, it's all the same. So the perimeter of B is gonna be two times 24.14 plus 2 times 8.84. That should be a times. There we go. Sorry about that. There we go. Two lengths plus two widths. All right. Perimeter A, excuse me, is going to be 2 times 14.2 and 2 times 5.2. All right. There we go. So let's figure out all these perimeters here. Calculation time. 2 times 24. Oops. 25. Plus 2 times 8.84. Two of those, two of those is going to be you. 65.96 minus 2 times 14.2. Whoa, where are you going, bro? Plus 2 times 5.2 equals 38.8. Eight. I think I did okay so far. Let me see. I feel like I did something wrong. No, 5.2, 14.2. Okay. All these decimals, I feel like I'm making the goof. Here we go. So 65, what was it again? 0.69. They're all right there. Good job, Mr. Calculator. Minus 38.8 is going to be 27.16. Okay. 27.16. All right. So... There we go. How much longer is B's perimeter compared to A's? Find B's perimeter. Find A's perimeter. Do the subtraction. Include all the decimals, and then you win. If you want to see something crazy, watch this. I'm going to take B's perimeter, 65.96, and then I'm going to divide by 38.8. Spoiler, you ready for something crazy? <gasps> Wow, scale factor. Nice. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So, well, that's just kind of common sense. I want to say it's common sense, but it's kind of a neat little trick. Um, if all of these pieces were multiplied by 1.7, well, what's the perimeter? The perimeter is adding up all of the pieces. Well, that should kind of make sense. If all of the pieces that were scaled up by 1.7 were divided by all of the pieces that you started with, you would get 
the scale factor, okay? So kind of a neat little trick though, okay? Kind of a neat little trick. We'll talk more about some other neat tricks on when you compare the areas, but not for today. It's kind of like 1.7, but anyway. That is the unicellular crayfish.